just so you know, I have got a top on and I also have my brows already complete and my hair is up in a bun, it's just cut off and you can't see it. But we're going to get straight in with the tutorial. So I'm prepping my skin with my MAC Strobe Cream. Um, this is a really lovely illuminating lotion. So I'm applying this mainly to the tops of my cheekbones and also down the bridge of my nose but also just applying it evenly throughout my face to keep it nice and glowy. And then I'm going in with my uh, hydrating, or is that the nourishing primer? I'll leave it down below which one it is. By Makeup Forever, because I just want my skin to glow for this look. So making sure the skin is prepped is key. Um, so starting off with the eyes, as I normally do, I've got my LA Girl Pro Conceal Concealer, and this is just going to act as a base over um, our lids for our eyeshadow, whatever we're going to put across it. This is going to be the base, it's just going to make sure everything sticks to it and it's also just going to get rid of that discoloration that I have on my lid. Then I'm taking my Naked Basics 2 or Naked 2 Basics palette and taking one of the cool tone browns from the shade, from the palette, sorry, and I'm just that brushing that through my crease and building it up and blending it through until I'm happy. I just wanted to create a little bit of depth. And then I'm just going in with this gorgeous peachy kind of highlight from the Sleek Celestial Highlight Palette. Celeste Highlight Palette? I can't say the name, but it's the one that's in the gold packaging and it is divine. So I'm just brushing this over the top of my lids just to create a bit of shimmer and sparkle. Um, nothing too crazy on the eyes. Then we're going to focus on the lower lash line mainly for this look. So I'm taking my Makeup Forever Flash Palette and taking that white paint from it. You could use the NYX Jumbo Pencil if you don't have this. I wanted to use that but I couldn't find mine so I've used this instead. So yeah, I'm just applying this to my lower lash line. Then going in with this sleek neon ultra matte palette and I'm just taking the first bright pink neon shade in the palette um, on a pencil brush and I'm just pushing this over the top of that white paint and that was to make sure that whatever we pop on top is really going to pop um, and that colour just really goes on nice and intense. I must say though that these eyeshadows are really really pigmented and I love them. So just going in with that second neon pink shade one of them's a bit more pinky corally and the other one's a bit more future pink but yeah i just wanted to build up both of them over the top of each other and as you can see um it's looking nice and intense and then i'm just going in with a flat shader brush and kind of just winging it up and out from my lower lash line so it's nice and easy then going back in with a bit more of that white paint just because i felt like i wanted to extend that uh, pink a little bit further down on my lower lash line and kind of really blow it out Further. so to make sure that it still pops while I blow it out that's why I laid down the paint then going back in with those same shadows over the top of that on my pencil brush and just taking it further down as you can see and just building this up and blending it until you're happy so as you can see I'm just blending 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 because we want it to look soft and blown out then I'm taking this gorgeous neon orange shade, what a beautiful colour, and on a pencil brush I'm just focusing this mainly just on the inner corners of the eye, on the lower lash line, and then we'll be kind of taking it just further up onto the inner corner as well, but really really just focusing it all there, and I think it works so beautifully with that pink shade. Then just moving on to the skin and I've got my Kevin Aquan Central Skin Enhancer in the shade SX11. I will leave the um, list of shades and everything down below in the description box. But I'm just covering up any discoloration and any like scarring. I do have a full video on this in my Back to Basic series if you want to go and have a watch of that. Then for foundation, I'm using my uh, YSL Tisha Clap Foundation and my NARS weightless, radiant, luminous, whatever, it's a really long name foundation and I mixed a bit of that NYX illuminator in it as well, dotted it around my skin and blended it out with my beauty blender sponge and I really can't speak today. <laughs> then I'm going in with my sleek contour kit and I'm just mixing these two shades and I'm just drawing out the lines of where I would like to contour first, so just in the hollows of my cheeks on my cheekbones, just building that up. And then just going around onto my temples also. And then you also don't want to forget the nose of course. And I like uh, contouring my nose which is why I do this. 
So I'm just taking this down the sides of my nose and kind of making it look a little bit slimmer and also you don't want to forget the tip. Um, and then of course we want to highlight, so I've got my LA Girl Pro Conceal again and I'm also using my Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer to highlight. So I'm going in with the LA Girl one for that full coverage underneath the eyes to cover up any dark circles but to be honest the eyeshadow that I have on my lower lash line kind of did that for me. Um, and then I'm just using the Maybelline one to highlight all the highest points of the face and just to make that contour pop. So it's just going on the bridge of my nose, forehead, chin, uh, cupid's bow, below the contour and of course over the top of that concealer. And then just with my beloved beauty blender. I'm just blending this all out and honestly this makes it so easy to blend. Also guys I know this look is so random and you guys might not recreate it but I just wanted to do something a little bit fun. I was just feeling like doing something fun really um, and I just wanted to go for really glowy skin, dewy skin and just a really colourful lower lash line so I hope you guys don't mind but I will get back to my normal like tutorials that you can recreate but of course you can do this too if you're going to a festival or something like that that would be pretty awesome if you wore this look but anyway I'm just blending that contour out with my brush and then just going in with my beauty blender to make sure everything is of course nicely blended and then just going back into that lower lash line to make sure that it's nicely blown out and blended out over the top of the concealer that we've just applied um, because we didn't kind of want to cut off that colorful lower lash line with the concealer then I'm applying my Maybelline gel liner. I thought this look kind of needed a winged liner. You can of course leave it without one. I did do this off camera because I had to get super, super close. Then I'm going in with a bronzer. This is actually like an in, in extra dimension powder by MAC and it's kind of like a glowy highlight. But I used it as a bronzer over the top of my skin. I will leave the name of it down below. Then I'm going in with the other highlight palette by Sleek and this is the Precious Metals one. And I'm just using the cream um, the cream product from it. And I'm applying it with my fingers and then with a brush and I'm just making sure that's going nicely onto the top of my cheekbones. Um, and I'm just building this up and blending it out. I think this is so amazing. Honestly, it's such good quality. Um, I'm also applying it down the bridge of my nose, cupid's bow chin forehead literally everywhere like I said before I want really glowy skin I just want like the gods to see me <laughs> and then going back into that celestial palette I can't say the name and using that peachy highlight powder I'm going over the top of that highlight and as you can see I just got so excited because the highlight was just intense it was crazy so I am being very very generous with it like I said, I want it to be really obvious. This isn't obviously your everyday look, so that's why I kind of wanted to go over the top with it and I just thought it would look really, really awesome. I kind of had a vision in my head and I just wanted to go with it, so I hope you don't mind. Um, and then I'm just going in with that kind of like lavender shade um, from the same highlight palette and I'm just going over that slightly. I just wanted a hint of that to come through um, and just going over the same points where I've highlighted before. Then I'm using my NARS Albatross highlighter and I'm actually using this to set my, um, my concealer underneath my eyes because it's kind of like a yellow tinge to it but it's also going to give that highlighted glow. Then I'm using this mascara, I will leave the name of it down below, I think it's by Maybelline. And I'm just applying this onto my top lashes, I'm not applying any mascara onto my bottom lashes. And then I'm using these new House of Holland and Eyelaw um, false lashes and they are awesome. Then I'm going in with a nude eyeliner and this is by MAC and this I think is called Risk or something like that or Risque. And I'm just applying this onto my lower lash line and just building this up in a couple of layers. Then finally for the lips, I've got Beat Lip Liner by MAC which is such a gorgeous shade. And I'm just lining my lips with this. I do overdraw very, very slightly um, just to kind of balance my lips out. And then I'm going in with one of my all-time favourite lipsticks by MAC and this is Relentlessly Red. Um, it's such a gorgeous shade, it's so so nice for summer um, and yeah, and for a festival. And then I'm going in with this NYX lipstick or NYX and I'm just applying this into the centre of my lips only. I will leave the name of it down below 
in the description box for you also but I just wanted a real nice pop of this in the center of the lips and then just to deepen up the lips I'm going in with Nightingale lip liner by MAC once again and I just wanted to focus this on the outer corners of the lips only so we really get that pop in the center going and then to give myself that final bit of glow I'm spritzing my skin with some Fix Plus by MAC and here we have the finished look guys I really hope you enjoyed this and I hope you don't mind me having a little bit of fun on my channel but yeah give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it comment down below don't forget to subscribe follow me on all my social media platforms and I'll see you next time Mwah. bye